Hello everyone, in this video let us try some questions on Norton's theorem. This is the question and here they are asking you to find the Norton equivalent of the network which is external to 9 ohm. That means I have already drawn a box, okay. So I have to find the Norton equivalent circuit of this portion. So that is external to 9 ohm. That means I am not considering 9 ohm resistor here. So, you know how to find the Norton's equivalent circuit, right? So, Norton equivalent circuit means you will be having a current source in parallel with a resistance. That is Norton's resistance. Norton's resistance and Thevenin's resistance, they both are same. The procedure to find the Norton resistance or the Thevenin's resistance will be same. So, in this case, we have only independent source. So, we have only one independent source that is the current source. 10 ampere current source. So in this case, how will you find the Norton's equivalent resistance? You know, you have to open this current source. So if there was a voltage source, you would have shorted it. But here we have current source, so we will open it. So I will redraw the circuit to find the Norton's equivalent circuit. To find Norton's equivalent circuit, to find Rn, this is the first step. So here open 10 ampere current source. Open this current source. Okay. So I'll mark this terminals as A and B. So this is 4 ohm and here we have 5 ohm and these are the terminals A and B. So I have to find the equivalent resistance from this terminals. Right. So this is 4 ohm, this is 5 ohm. So what will be this? This both are in series. So Rn will be equal to 4 plus 5. That is equal to 9 ohm. So this is my Rn. Now we have to find the Norton's current In or which is also called as the short circuit current. So you know Norton's current is nothing but the short circuit current. So here in this case we have to short this terminals AB because I am finding the Norton's equivalent from these terminals, I have to short this. Then only I will be getting the short circuit current. So I will redraw the circuit now. So this is 4 ohm, this is 5 ohm and this is 10 ampere. This is 10 ampere, this is 5 ohm, this is 4 ohm and here we are going to get the Norton's current or the short circuit current. Okay, we have to find this now. So, how are you going to find? What I will do is, I will convert this to voltage source. So, I will apply the source transformation technique. You can find it via other methods also. Now, I am using the source transformation. So, you know, I am getting a voltage source like this. Because, you know, if you are having a voltage source like this, the equivalent will be like this, right? Current source. So, I am taking this. 10 into 5 is 50 volts. This is 4 ohms and here it will be in series now 5 ohm and this is the short circuited path. This is my IN. Okay, so now I will consider this. I will apply the KVL. Okay, so it is minus 4I plus 50 minus 5I that is equal to 0. So 9I is equal to 50. I is equal to 50 by 9 which is nothing but 5.56 amperes. Okay, this is my Norton's current. I applied the KVL here. Okay, then what happened? I found out IN or ISC, which is nothing but the short circuited current, which is 5.56 ampere. So now I got IN. I have already got the Norton's resistance. So now I can replace this circuit, right? I can replace the circuit by the Norton's equivalent circuit. And how it will look? This one, this is the current, okay, this is the current 5.56 ampere, which is in parallel with the resistance Rn, which is 9 ohm, okay. So, this is the terminals A and B. Now, I will attach this to its position. This is 9 ohm, okay. So, the current is flowing from A to B, right. So, this will be the direction of the current source because it will be the this will be the path which is followed, right? From A to B. So, this is the IN. This is IN. This is RN. This is the 9 ohm. So, this is the equivalent Norton's circuit. 